There are many types of chemical reactions, and here we list a few. Decomposition is the breakdown of a compound into simpler molecules. Combination reactions are the opposite of decomposition reactions. Two elements can combine, or an element and compounds can combine, or two compounds can combine. Oxidation is an example of a combination reaction. Replacement reactions simply replace one atom or group of atoms in a compound. Sodium replaces hydrogen. Zinc replaces hydrogen. Copper replaces silver. Notice how replacement reactions can be written generically. All the replacement reactions can be written this way. This precipitation reaction is also a two-component replacement reaction. Hence both lead nitrate and potassium iodide are replaced. In this reaction both mercury chloride and potassium iodide undergo replacement. Both sodium carbonate and hydrochloric acid undergo replacement or equivalently displacement. A detailed classification shows that the reaction of sodium carbonate with hydrochloric acid is a two-step process, with the first being the formation of carbonic acid, which then decomposes. Hence, chemical reactions can take place in a series of steps. When a reaction occurs in a series of steps, then the steps can be added and common terms cancelled. This leaves the overall equation for the process without displaying the steps. Neutralization is a process of combining acids and bases in the correct proportions to leave the solution neutral. The red and blue components of the two reactants are displaced to form water in this neutralization process. Combustion reactions are burning or vigorous oxidation processes involving the liberation of heat and often associated with fire. As an example, acetylene can be produced from calcium carbine by the addition of water. Acetylene burns vigorously. It can also be used as the starting point to make many hydrocarbons. Explosions are vigorous chemical reactions that take place very rapidly and produce a large volume of gas and a lot of heat. From the explosions shown here, notice the huge amount of gas that is released in the explosion. Precipitation reactions are the formation of a solid in solution in a two-component displacement reaction. This precipitation reaction is also a two-component replacement reaction. Hence both lead nitrate and potassium iodide are replaced. In this reaction both mercury chloride and potassium iodide undergo replacement. Many ionic salts dissolve in solution by dissociating into anions and cations. For example, potassium chromate dissolves in water. The reverse of dissolving of ionic salts is precipitation. Silver nitrate and potassium chloride are soluble, but silver chloride produces a white precipitate. All nitrates are soluble, and all potassium salts are soluble but lead chromate is insoluble. All potassium salts are soluble and copper sulfate dissolves to form a blue solution. Copper hydroxide is, however, insoluble. Acids and bases are electrolytes. That is, they dissociate into ions in aqueous solutions. Acids turn litmus paper red and bases turn litmus paper blue. Bases taste bitter in food and feel slippery. They turn litmus paper blue and neutralize acids. The simplest definition of an acid and a base is that an acid produces hydrogen ions in aqueous solution and a base produces hydroxide ions in aqueous solution. This is called the Arrhenius definition. 
The Bromstead-Lowry definition of an acid and base is more general than the Arrhenius definition. In the Bromstead-Lowry definition, an acid is a proton donor and a base is a proton acceptor. This definition allows for bases that don't contain the hydroxide group and solvents that don't contain water. It also allows for the definition of acids and bases to be extended to the gas phase. The most general definition of an acid and base is due to Lewis. In this definition, an acid is an electron pair acceptor and a base is an electron pair donor. In this definition, we are not restricted to the type of solvent that are being used and we are not restricted to the compounds that contain protons. Hydrogen ions and hydroxyl ions combine to form water. The solution is left containing the anions and cations of a salt. Redox reactions are oxidation and reduction processes. Redox reactions always occur simultaneously as the electrons lost in oxidation are gained in reduction. Usually, redox reactions are written as reduction half reactions as shown here. To interchange oxidation and reduction half reactions, simply reverse them and change the sign of the voltage. Most chemical reactions have fairly complicated mechanisms, but the steps are usually the common ones we have already seen. Some are composed of parallel reactions, some are consecutive, others are opposing reactions, some are rate determining. Here is an example of a chain reaction showing the steps.